Let's check back in now with John Brown. He's down at KMOX Radio. John. Hey, good evening, ladies. Yeah, what we're looking at here is a lot of the numbers in Missouri just now starting to come in. The Missouri Secretary of State's office just put out these numbers. So we're getting some early looks at some of the numbers here. And at this point, it's more rural versus urban numbers. So these are going to change quite a bit. We want to check in with our news partners at the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, also here in downtown St. Louis, watching the numbers very closely. Christopher Ave joins us over at the Post. So Christopher, thus far, it's early, but what is standing out to you guys at the Post with these early numbers coming down? Well, uh, you said it, John, it seems that a lot of these numbers are coming in from rural areas, not as much from urban areas. So as you might expect, Republicans doing well. Obviously, we have Josh Hawley with a solid lead in the early going over incumbent Claire McCaskill in the Senate race. I'd say the state auditor's race is really interesting. The Republican with a nine-point lead here in these early stages, Sandra McDowell leading Nicole Galloway for state auditor. That's interesting because Sandra McDowell's had kind of a rough campaign. She's had some financial problems exposed. There's a residency issue that she hasn't fully explained. So that's interesting to me. And then, of course, there's medical marijuana. John, I know you and I were chatting about that off air. Yeah, and well, as a matter of fact, uh, Sandra McDowell, I think I was the only one in the state that actually interviewed her because I caught up with her at a Trump uh, rally. And so she hasn't done many interviews and she's doing surprisingly well tonight. Very quickly, medical marijuana I think the people in uh, support of Amendment 2 really got the word out that that's the one they wanted passed. It's at 60 percent approval. Uh, Amendment 3 is at 30 percent. And then Prop C about the same, down around 40 percent. So, Christopher, uh, it, you know, there's no real big opposition to that one. It sounds like even in the rural areas, that one's going well. I think Amendment 2 uh, managed to get a lot of support across the board from people on both sides of the aisle. Um, that seemed to be the one that, it, that was able to get kind of, a, uh, kind of a, a coalescing, as I said, of support, more so than the other two. So at least one medical marijuana measure looking good so far in the early going. All right, Christopher Ave with the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, and I'm John Brown here at KMOX with our political pundits, Hancock and Kelly. We'll talk with them in just a bit. For now, we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, we're going to get more information, kind of the latest numbers on those 